Chapter 14 The Effortless Way The principle of least action governs everything in physics from the path of a planet to the path of a pulse of light. Least action is the minimum of energy multiplied by the minimum of time. Therefore, in moving from your present state to the state desired, you must use the minimum of energy and take the shortest possible time. Your journey from one state of consciousness to another is a psychological one. So, to make the journey, you must employ the psychological equivalent of least action. And the psychological equivalent is mere assumption. Again, least action is the minimum of energy multiplied by the minimum of time. Therefore, in moving from your present state to the state desired, you must use the minimum of energy and take the shortest possible time. Your journey from one state of consciousness to another is a psychological one. So, to make the journey, you must employ the psychological equivalent of least action, and the psychological equivalent is mere assumption. The day you fully realize the power of assumption, you discover that it works in complete conformity with this principle. It works by means of attention minus effort. Thus, with least action through an assumption, you hurry without haste and reach your goal without effort. Because creation is finished, what you desire already exists. It is excluded from view because you can only see the contents of your own consciousness. It is the function of an assumption to call back the excluded view and restore full vision. It is not the world, but your assumptions that change. An assumption brings the invisible into sight. It is nothing more nor less than seeing with the eye of God, i.e. imagination. Again, because creation is finished, what you desire already exists. It is excluded from view because you can see only the contents of your own consciousness. It is the function of an assumption to call back the excluded view and restore full vision. It is not the world, but your assumptions that change. An assumption brings the invisible into sight. It is nothing more nor less than seeing with the eye of God. Imagination. For the Lord seeth not as a man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The heart is the primary organ of sense, hence the first cause of experience. When you look on the heart, you are looking at your assumptions. Assumptions determine your experience. Watch your assumption with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. 
Assumptions have the power of objective realization. Every event in the visible world is the result of an assumption or idea in the unseen world. Again, when you look on the heart, you are looking at your assumptions. Assumptions determine your experience. Watch your assumption with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Assumptions have the power of objective realization. Every event in the visible world is the result of an assumption or idea in the unseen world. The present moment is all important, for it is, the, for it is only in the present moment that our assumptions can be controlled. Again, the present moment is all important, for it is only in the present moment that our assumptions can be controlled. The future must become the present in your mind if you would wisely operate the law of assumption. The future becomes the present when you imagine that you already are what you will be when your assumption is fulfilled. Be still, least action, and know that you are that which you desire to be. The end of longing should be being. Translate your dream into being. Perpetual construction of future states without the consciousness of already being them, that is, picturing your desire without actually assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, is the fallacy and mirage of mankind. It is simply futile daydreaming. Again, the future becomes the present when you imagine that you already are what you will be when your assumption is fulfilled. Be still, least action, and know that you are that which you desire to be. The end of longing should be being. Translate your dream into being. Perpetual construction of future states without the consciousness of already being them, that is, picturing your desire without actually assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, is the fallacy and mirage of mankind. It is simply futile daydreaming. Subscribe to this channel so that you will receive notifications on your device when new Neville Goddard content is posted.